Hi, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how to escape tutorial hell. <laughs> Imagine you want to learn something new, maybe a new programming language, so you do what every single reasonable programmer would do. Watch a tutorial here on YouTube. After finishing it, you feel quite confident that you understood at least 80%, but just in case, you watch another one. Three hours later, you have the feeling that you understood at least 90%, but just to be sure, tutorial number three it is. Sounds familiar? Welcome to tutorial hell. Today I'm going to show you a fairly easy step-by-step -step guide that you can follow to never be stuck in tutorial hell again. Let's begin. The very first thing you need to do is close all tabs. Yes, as stupid as this might sound, I'm dead serious. The problem with having too many tabs open is the following. You will always be tempted to watch just one more video in hopes that it will finally bring the breakthrough you've been waiting for. Trust me, this literally never happened to me. But what happened to me is the following. I started watching the first tutorial video, then the second one and the third one, and the fourth one, and the fifth one, and the sixth one, just to find myself wasting two valuable hours on learning something that I already knew. So in order to completely get rid of all the temptations and distractions, close every single tab. Now that you've eliminated all your distractions, the second step is to define a clear goal. It must be something tangible, something reachable, and it also needs to be very clear and specific. Let me give you an example. If you want to learn a new programming language, a bad goal would be learn Go. On the other hand, a good goal would be write a REST service that returns a random joke from a database. See the difference? The first one is very broad. You can literally spend hours or even days learning Go. The second one though is very narrow. Write a specific kind of application that does something specific using something specific. And it also has a very clearly defined point when you are finished. As soon as the server returns a random joke, you have done your job. You learned what you wanted to learn. Step number three is the next logical step after defining a clear goal and that is to create a detailed plan to reach it. Let's take the example from before and let's also make the assumption that you don't know Golang but you know how a REST server works and how to connect to a SQL database. In that case the plan might look as follows. First, learn the very basics of Go. Second, learn to write a GET endpoint using Go. Third, learn to connect to a Postgres database using Go. Fourth, learn to connect your database code to the endpoint code and you guess it right, using Go. The point of creating a detailed plan is to remove or at least be aware about all these unimportant topics that might keep you from reaching your goal. For instance, in our case we do not need a post or delete endpoint, so there is no need to learn how to implement them. Keep this in mind, it's going to be important in step number 5. As soon as you have your plan in place, it's time for step number 4 finding good learning resources. What I don't mean by that is open 38 tabs of Golang beginner tutorial videos, but instead skim through only a few tutorials and be very cautious about the following topics. Understandability, the difficulty level and entertainment. Let me dig a little deeper. First, understandability. If you do not understand what the person is talking about, completely ignore it. Find a tutorial that suits your learning style and that is easy to follow along. Next, the difficulty level. If the tutorial explains every single step in an epic manner and you are getting bored, this one's not for you. On the other hand, if you have the feeling that the tutorial is missing steps and you have trouble follow along, this one's not for you either. Find a tutorial that has the sweet spot where you're not feeling bored and also not feeling overwhelmed. And lastly, the entertainment level. If someone is teaching like a 100 year old college professor and you have trouble staying awake, well find a better tutorial. At the end, you should have a list of two to three tutorials for every single step to reach your goal. Now for the last step, step number five, just do it. I want you to do the following. Take the first step that you have planned and take all the tutorials that you've picked and then implement it. For example, the very first step on our plan was to learn the basics of Go. So go ahead and watch one tutorial. But as soon as you're done, stop and go to the next step. The second step was to learn how to write a get rest endpoint. But remember, get only. Whenever you reach a point in your tutorial that goes further and does not help you reach your goal, skip it. For instance, as soon as the tutorial talks about post or delete, this should be your trigger. Stop watching and go back to your plan. Once you've implemented the get endpoint and the second step is done, go to the next one. And so on and so forth. See what you just did right now? Instead of wasting valuable hours watching tutorial after tutorial, you just watched a minimum amount and still learned something new. And finally, escape tutorial help. 